So this video is sponsored by Cyberpower UK. They build a lot of awesome PCs. If you do want to go check it out, I will leave the link down in the description. So what is going on guys? Welcome to another Plants vs Zombies Heroes video here today. What you just saw then was the power of a healing deck. These are so incredibly powerful right now. If you saw the gameplay, I was on 9 health and the enemy was on 20 health. And then 2 seconds later, I'm on 20 health and the enemy is on 9. It's a really, really powerful deck and the way that it works is combining multiple different cards. The two main cards that you want to combine together are the Hurtichoke, which is this right here, which costs 4 sun. It's a 3-4 and when a plant or your hero is healed, it will deal that much damage to the zombie hero. And also the environment of the Venus flytrap planets, which is when a plant here does damage, heal your hero for that much. So basically, if you put a Hurtichoke drone, uh, a Hurtichoke drone, if you put a Hurtichoke in this environment, it's going to deal damage to the enemy, which is then going to make your hero be healed by that much damage, which is then going to activate the Hurtichoke to deal damage again. And it's a continuous cycle that won't stop until either the block meter of the enemy is full or you have healed up to full health, which is very, very powerful. Now, also, other ways that you can combine this as well, I've added four of these in as well. These are the evasive species. When these are in an environment, they'll gain three extra attack, so it's going to become a five at four. So if you place that with this environment as well, it's going to heal yourself up by five. Whether you hit the hero or not, it doesn't matter. You're going to heal yourself up by five. I've also got the uh, the second best tackle of all time. These heal four. So um, even if you don't have the hurt chokes in an environment, if you heal, it's still going to deal four damage to the hero. And if you do have it in a Venus flytrap planet environment, it's going to deal four damage, heal yourself by four, deal another four damage, heal yourself by four, etc., etc. It's very very powerful. Also, because there's a lot of healing going in, it makes sense to put the Pepper MDs in, because they can get buffed as well. But also, what makes this so, so powerful is it doesn't matter if you've got a Hurty Choke on an environment or not. If you have one of these down on the board, and then you use a brand new legendary called Astral Vera, this, first of all, heals your hero by 10. It also increases your hero's health by 10 as well. So... What's actually going to be happening, as soon as you play this, if you have a hurty choke down on the board, it's going to instantly deal 10 damage to the zombie hero, and you're going to hope that it doesn't pop the block meter, which is absolutely incredible. Let's say, for example, you're on 1 health, the enemy is on 20 health. You have one of these down already in an environment, which is the Venus flytrap planet, and then you call in your legendary. What's going to happen is you're going to heal up 10 straight away, which is going to put you on 11 health, but you'll have a total of 30 health. That means the Hurtichoke's then going to deal 10 damage, which is going to heal you up to 21 health. It's also going to take their damage down to 10, or their health down to 10. But then because it's in the Venus Flytrap planet, it's going to heal yourself again, and you're going to deal more damage again. So that way, you instantly win the game. This is a very, very powerful deck. We're going to be showcasing it into some multiplayer. So uh, I'm going to find a game. And I'll be right back. Alright, here we are guys. We've found the game. We're going up against Immortica right now. We start off with the Hurty Choke in our deck, which is very nice. We've also got this as well. So I think I'm going to keep all of these cards. Because this extra sun from the uh, from the Sun Shrew is going to be very, very powerful. So one reason what makes this deck so powerful, especially if you can get in that environment down, is if you have less health, it's going to work out being better in the long run and that's if you can get this combo worked out now one thing you do want to keep in mind as well is if the zombies replace this environment with a, a different environment it is going to make it a little bit more difficult to uh, to pull off the combo that's recurring but nevertheless the hurty choke is a very powerful plant and combining it with multiple different healing cards and everything like that you can heal yourself by a lot and deal a lot of damage so to start off with we don't do anything in turn one which is absolutely fine and there we go. We've got the uh, environment that we wanted as well. So I think I'm going to use this. I'm hoping that... Uh, actually, I'm going to place it up on top. Hopefully, this doesn't get taken out. Because that means I will get extra sun at the end of the next turn. And then if it can survive another turn, I'll, uh, I'll get even more sun as well. Which is going to make me be able to get these cards out much quicker. Unfortunately, it's going to get taken out. And um, she's going to draw a card as well. So uh, that's a little bit of a shame. 
but it's okay. At least we know what superpower she had, so uh, we don't need to worry about that too much anymore. I should have maybe put it in a ground lane, so I could have then used this or something like that. I don't know. All right. What should we do here? Gravestone. So I think I might just destroy this. We'll just get rid of this just so she can't destroy another card. And uh, he's going to get buffed as well. See, uh, I'm not too worried just yet. I've got the two uh, the two cards that are the main important cards that you want in this deck right now. So I'm not too worried taking damage right now. Of course, this is a healing deck. So you do want to um, kind of use that to your advantage. And you can actually heal yourself very quickly. Especially if you can get the environments down. And what I tend to do is place the environment down before my heart to choke. That seems to work out better for me, provided that they don't change the environment into something else. But uh, we'll see what she does here. She places that down. So I think I'm going to place the environment down in the middle lane. We're going to take a lot of damage. That's absolutely fine. Uh, we'll just have to see here. We're going to take potentially seven more damage here. Um, I would like to block one, though. That would be nice if we could block one. Unfortunately, we don't, but we will block the next attack. That's uh, that's guaranteed right there. All right. What are you going to place down now? We've got, we got quite a bit of health that we can heal up here as well. So uh, this could work well. I don't want to destroy my hearty choke. That's what I'm worried about. I don't want the hearty choke to be destroyed. So I'm going to use that. And I'm going to use this as well, just to reduce the amount of damage that they're going to deal. Uh, so we can survive another round, hopefully. But uh, I don't want her to take out my hearty choke drone. I don't know why I keep calling it Hearty Choke Drone. Hearty Choke. No! Stop using environments on the trick phase. I don't know if that's fair. I don't know if it, if zombies should be able to use environments on the trick phase or it should be just the standard phase. Oh, man. Alright, we can change that back. We can change it back and then we can use this as well. So, um, hopefully we'll be okay. We can block some more damage here as well. There we go. We block the two. Not Not ideal. But uh, it's fine. I uh, heard her to choke lives uh, another day as well, at least. Okay. All right, we're gonna be careful here. I don't want my her to choke drone to get taken out. I mean, it will get taken out, but it'll still activate its combos until either their block meters full or we heal up fully. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, yeah, let's change this environment back again. There we go. And I could actually save. My hearty choke. I'm going to save it. Hopefully it doesn't get taken out. I'll be quite annoyed if it gets taken out. Don't use a different environment. Please do not use a different environment. Don't change it again. Make another two space cadet. Alright, well don't take it out. Don't take it out. There we go. So we should get some health back here. And we should hit them more times because we're going to hit the, uh, the guy instead. So wait for this. We're on 5 health. They're on 20. We take them out. We heal. We then deal more damage to the hero. There we go. Then we heal. There we go. We're going to take more damage to them. Ah, oh, stop blocking so much. Don't block. Don't block. There we go. So look at that. She's now on 11 health. We're now on 17 health. And finally, we pop the block meter. That's how powerful a healing deck can be. You can see how much the game just changed. And we do have our legendary ready for the next round. So um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this. Uh, where should I place this, actually? I'm just trying to think. Let's place it here. There we go. And we'll place this here. So what's going to happen is we're going to heal up a little bit. That means she'll then uh, damage the block meter. And uh, provided that none of these cards gets taken out, in the next turn we could use a legendary here, which is then going to win us the game. Because we're going to deal damage to the hero now, which is 9. There we go. We're going to take damage. We don't need this. Let's take that down. We don't need it. Because uh, provided I don't get taken out on this first phase right now, we're going to deal 10 damage in just a second, which is ridiculously powerful. And uh, this combination of cards is crazy. Like, you saw how much health I was on, and now the tables have turned. I'm actually going to heal up as well, which is crazy. So, this is going to be ridiculously powerful. As soon as I use this legendary, I'm going to go up to maybe 23 health. And we're going to deal 10 damage, provided that this hearty choke doesn't get taken out. Come on. What can you do, Amortica? You're going to place him down? What else are you going to do? Gravestone. Doesn't matter because we hit the hero. Let's use our legendary. There we go. We're going to heal. And then we're going to deal at 10 damage to the zombie hero. And ba-bam. Easy win. 
incredible combination of cards right now. This is so powerful. I'm still kind of perfecting the deck a little bit, but uh, yeah, this is a really, really powerful deck. And uh, the combination of cards to be able to heal yourself a lot and keep that combination loop going is absolutely ridiculous. But hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, make sure you do give it a like down below. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Zero Fusions, and hopefully I'll catch you guys next time.